Hello, World Wide Web, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Today, <laughs> oh yeah, today is Thriving Thursday. Hit the music. Hey, welcome back. I hope y'all enjoyed our new intro music. Woo! Courtesy of Steven. Oh, well, thank you, love. Thank you, thank you. The, the kids are sleeping, so that was a silent. Woo! That wasn't that. Also, so I don't do it in your ear. I remember I set you off in season four. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, my name is Stephen Hayes. This is my beautiful wife, Lauren. And we are SNL. And you're watching Thriving, Thriving Thursdays. Thursdays. Yes, we are back, baby. Season five. This is episode one. And listen, we want to first of all thank God for this opportunity to be able to do this again. This has been on our heart. I've been just kind of toiling over some things that we can do and talk about it and see you know see if we can add a little extra flavor to it do some stuff in different scenery how do you like the backdrop i just finished now um i think you've been drinking some crunk juice <laughs> 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 oh i made myself a smoothie this evening i realized i wasn't feeling too good this afternoon and the kids went lost their minds because they just got their flu shots and such and then i realized you know what i didn't have very many veggies today and I'm taking all these classes, learning about the body and everything. I need vegetables. It's going to help strengthen my immune system. So while you took something to amped up, I'm taking chamomile tea to calm me down. So Yeah, that's right. You calm it down because you've been cranked up all day. Now you're going to let me crank it up and you bring it down. I not at all. You should have seen her. She was cranked up, man. She came out flossing and stuff. I was like, whoa. That never happened. No, that didn't actually happen. <laughs> that never happened. But that would be funny. She came out the Anyways, room and just back flossing. to the subject. What are we starting off the season talking about? Oh, man, look. This season, I figured we start season one talking about where we're going. Where we're going. Where are okay. we going? To hell if we don't pray. <laughs> <laughs> That got really, that got really. <laughs> That's what my mother used to tell me. Like, really where are we quick? going? We get in the car. Where are we going? To hell if we don't pray. <laughs> oh wow, God. really? That's really intense. That's where we're going? That's intense. Yeah, I'll see when we get there. Are we wow. there yet? No, and you better not keep asking. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little traumatized. <laughs> Grammy tra traumatized you. <laughs> the kid's grammy. <laughs> Anyway, anyways, we're going to talk about where we're going with season five. We have been blessed to be with you all for five seasons. Five, count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five realize. seasons. It's been that long. It's been five. I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Five seasons. Wow. Only like two years. Yes. Three. Oh. Two years in San Antonio. That's what I'm saying. See? It took a very long, what was it called? Hiatus? No, it's not the right word. Hiatus? Well, just COVID and getting kids ready in school and stuff. We just took a break. Absolutely. All right. So before we tell you where we're headed, why not take some time to tell them where we've been? Uh-oh. Why don't y'all check out a few of our clips from our previous seasons? I'm super pumped up. I'm lit right now. Hey, look, I am on fire. If you can't tell, my shirt is just red. I'm burning. <laughs> okay, okay. We're outside. Anyway. We've got this beautiful weather down here in Texas, and I just want to make sure we get a little outside view. So... Let me slow it down a little bit, let y'all know what we're going to be talking about today. Today we're going to be talking about something very essential, and that is a budget, 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 okay? We know that a lot of crazy things have been happening over the last two months, so we've been locked up in the house or quarantine or shelter in place, whatever your situation may have been. Um, last, like time, last time we talked about finances, a little bit of yes. structure on finances and budgeting, and emergency fund and why that was important and that kind of leads I think to legacy so leaving a legacy for your kids and just also um, thinking about with all the stuff going on with the COVID-19 um, people I think are rethinking what things that they thought were important and reprioritizing yeah. and I was thinking about what kind of legacy are you leaving what kind of legacy do you want to leave yes so. yes oh good stuff is what I'm talking about <laughs> hey how did y'all enjoy that? 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> the boy that steps his game up. <laughs> You're really Go boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Intense. It's tooting my own horn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am intense. It's, it's Thursday. Intense. We're I'm, here to thrive. You're thriving. We're thriving. That's right. As you heard the song say, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But Thursday, we thriving. Actually, the idea is to try and thrive every day of the week. Yes. But Thriving Thursday. Thrive with us on Thursday. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> and if you're not thriving, join us and watch us thrive. And maybe you'll rise to the occasion. Really? That sounded really What, rise to the occasion? No. <laughs> it just sounded stupid. Watch us thrive and maybe yeah. you'll rise to the occasion? Yes, it sounded I, See, stupid. I don't know what to do with my hands, so they just keep coming into the picture there. Spirit fingers? <laughs> These <laughs> so are spirit fingers. fingers. These are not spirit fingers. Side note there. Wow, wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As you can see. This is what happens when you get no sleep. Oh my God. And you have four kids. Sleep deprived of four children. This huh? happens. But yes. we're thriving. We are still thriving though. Not just surviving, but thriving. See, surviving is when you just get by. Scraping by with the thread of life. Just hanging on. Sometimes you gotta survive. <laughs> but Thursdays, woo, we're gonna thrive. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Let's bring it on down a little bit. We don't want to bust the ceiling yet. We just got started. Southern Baptist <laughs> preacher came out. I don't know. Yes. Anyway. What? Well, like I said, we've seen where we came from. Now, let's talk to you about where we are headed. For us, this is ministry. This is our opportunity to share our lives with you, to be transparent, to open it up. Um, we love reading comments that we get on Facebook and YouTube especially. Um, you guys comment back so get some of your comments we'd like to reply to those and then take those into effect when we look at how we can improve or how we can um, add in some topics that you our audience um, really want to hear us discuss so um, one of the things that we're going to be talking about moving forward uh, moving forward we want to make sure that we don't completely neglect where we've been since season four and um, yeah as you can see there's been a lot going on since we ended season four back at the beginning of May. Check it out. Iran's general, Qasem Soleimani. He'd reportedly just gotten into Iraq from Beirut and was leaving Baghdad airport when he was killed in a convoy of vehicles along with a top Iraqi militia leader. But we caught him in the act and terminated him. Good evening. The world is on edge tonight after Iran made good on its promise, launching a revenge attack on the United States following the death of its top military leader. A Ukrainian plane carrying 176 people was crashed shortly after taking off from the Iranian capital. Prince Harry and Meghan saying they're stepping back. Uh, from royal duties. The impeachment trial of President Trump begins. In Turkey, where at least 22 people are now dead and more than 900 injured after an earthquake in the east of the country. From the tragic death of NBA legend Kobe Bryant. The man who could score 81 points in a single game. It is the UK has left the European Union. 47 years of history brought to an end in the name of sovereignty and independence. From flames to flash floods. I will not be running for president in 2020. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders has just announced that he is suspending his campaign. He is dropping out of the race for president. Joe Biden is now the presumptive Democratic nominee against President Donald Trump. Coronavirus. COVID-19. Tom Hanks announcing overnight that he and wife Rita Wilson are both infected. The Chinese whistleblower doctor who told the world about the coronavirus in Wuhan has died. All of Italy is going on lockdown. Countries such as Italy and Iran are in the middle of the battle. Elsewhere, the impact of COVID-19 is just beginning. The World Health Organization 
officially announced that this is a global pandemic. All this has rocked financial markets around the world, the worst sell-off on Wall Street since the financial crisis in 2008. The European Championships this summer will be postponed until 2021. The 2020 Summer Olympics, now the latest major sports cancellation caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic. The U.S. now has the highest number of COVID-19 related deaths in the world. We learned about the rapid escalation of coronavirus as global infections surpass one million. Is it just me? In the language of the U.S. Department of Defense, these are unidentified aerial phenomena. Videos which add fuel to the belief of some, we are not alone. A massacre in the honeycomb. Breaking news, a passenger plane crashing in Pakistan. The second outbreak of Ebola has been confirmed. An online collective group by the name Anonymous has surged once again. Minneapolis on fire. This is getting serious. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We got a little bit of a fire breaking out to the left here. Sandalizing. Fires have been started. Things got out of control. We're marching peacefully and chanting names. It'll get worse before it gets better. Now, 13 years after she vanished, prosecutors in Germany say they believe Madeleine McCann is dead. A devastating earth altering 7.1 magnitude quake Tuesday. Mexico City. The rising tension between India and China along the line of control is now the biggest face off between two sides since the Doklam crisis in 2017. Democracy activists say they fear the end of Hong Kong after China announced plans for new security laws. Hurricane Hannah slamming into the Texas shore, winds of 90 miles an hour. And the pandemic continues to spread across the world. Data compiled by the statistics website Worldometer shows global infections surpassed 10 million. Just after 6 p.m. local time on Tuesday, the 4th of August, <laughs> an explosion ripped through Beirut's port. All right, so, you know, that's some of the stuff that's been happening just as we last left you guys um, to thrive over the summer. Now, summer ended, kids are back in school. Um, we had a really tough choice with that. So moving forward, we're gonna talk about some of those things that we took into account. Um, but really, uh, we're, we're now in a full, uh, full blown homeschool. Um, yep. We're not just doing public school online at home. Uh, we, we looked at our options. We looked at what our we school district the is plunge, doing. The nasty plunge, you remember yeah. those commercials? I remember the nasty <laughs> plunge, yeah. Um, yeah, we, we decided that, um, Every year we would re, we would revisit the idea of homeschooling, so it wasn't just like a spur of the moment thing. Uh, it's just I think this is what put us over the edge. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we kept our family safe because we have kids, and you know one of them is extremely at risk. So we want to make sure that we keep him safe as well. So with that being said, um, we decided to take on homeschooling. So now we have some more material that we want to share with you. Yeah. Um, not just what's happened in the past or topics we covered in the past. We may revisit some of those topics because yeah. we talked about organizing like the, the kids' school space or workspace and that can work whether or not you're doing public school mm -hmm. online, um, just homework at home with the kids or if you're um, homeschooling. So we yeah. got some things that we've learned from others. By the way, not everything's just what we came up on our own. Yes, I mean, even though our kids are not currently in school this year now, because they're homeschooling, I still work helping people in school with 504 plans and IEPs, so we can talk a little bit about that. If parents have like um, kids with different needs, special needs. And I think I have good info for that, especially for Texas, I have a lot of stuff that I found out about that. Hey, you let us know what kind of things you'd like us to share because we have a lot of information oh. and we've been really praying about um, how we can better benefit you, our audience, yeah. and really kind of continue to minister. So, yeah, yeah something and, else? And, and with homeschooling, I think even if we weren't homeschooling, 
um, our kids. We could probably talk a little bit about um, what we've been sharing with our kids because of all this stuff going on in the world. Like, how do you talk to your kids about that kind of stuff? Some people have been asking me, like, how are you discussing, you know, um, the current state of our country with the kids? What are you talking about? Are you talking about, like, racism or do they know about COVID? Because it's like, you know, these are like hard things to describe to little kids without scaring them too much, but kind of wanting to be truthful to them. So I thought we could like share a little bit of um, things that I found, that we found that we've been using and kind of share that. So maybe we'll do something on that. Absolutely. And then as things change, and then maybe we'll be able to share a little clips of video if we do some, we want to do like safe social distancing, some like field trips probably yep. with what we're learning. So um, share yeah, some we got some stuff, stuff planned, so we'll be uh, keeping you guys informed. So, you know, like I said, moving forward, this is going to be a really exciting time for us, um, a challenging time as well because we're um, we're taking on some some new challenges. I'm back in school as well. TWU just want to send a shout out. Hey, I got to go ahead and, and call it out. Uh, I'm a graduate. Woo woo! Yes, That's what he I'm graduated. talking about. Graduated college. Let me hit it one time. Huh? The pictures. That's what Put I'm the talking about. In. Huh? That's, oh, hurt my neck. <laughs> You're too old to be doing that kind of stuff. Well, we're going to put share some pictures Oof, here. Got to stretch first. Of your graduation. Yes, they probably yes, saw them already up. on Facebook. We'll put some up. Absolutely, yes. So thank you, God, for just seeing me through that, for my beautiful wife, for encouraging me through that, and really taking on a lot wow. for me to get through He's it. He's on to the yes. next degree. Got my Associates of Arts from Richmond College. It's time to go. We're at TWU now, and, and I'm going full speed, 100 miles an hour, 100%. Mm -hmm. 100? Uh, yeah, just ready to get this thing yep. done. Occupational therapy, That, in case mm -hmm. y'all are wondering, and we're not keeping in suspense anymore. OT, looking to go to occupational therapy school. That's my goal right now, trying to get that degree. So, and chasing, chasing it. And during COVID, I don't know if I met, like I was always so shy to mention it, that I was writing my book. I'm working on my memoir still. I think I've shared it a little bit, but. Um, hopefully, we're, I'm in the editing stage, so yes. I don't know how, how long that's going to take because I want it to be a good book and not poorly edited. So More to come. More to come. We got folks working with us on this. My wife has written a book, and um, we've been blessed to have resources and, and people that we know that are really stepping, uh, stepping in and, and helping us. Uh, all right. Uh, we I said organization, schooling. We're going to be talking about... Um, interviewing yeah yeah we gotta get that job stuff out there we got folks looking for work because they're unemployed because of coronavirus mm. okay so we got some folks we can really step it up and help with so writing resumes um applying following up and you know closing the deal when you do those um i should say closing the deal but um interviewing and then closing the deal once you've interviewed the process that comes after that a lot of people forget to think about after the interview you can negotiate your salary you can negotiate your benefits so things like that that come into play and you know if you feel comfortable you can talk a little bit about you know your experience i'm just gonna bring up my previous experiences um okay. so you know that's something else and we then, got to share i think that we're also probably i think that'd be good for us um i mean put your below like what you'd like us to talk about if you have a specific, yes, specific topic um or send us to us in a private message if you don't want to Maybe just goal setting and reprioritizing and re-figuring out because maybe the goals that you set for 2020, maybe they're unrealistic right now. Like if you have a yeah. goal of traveling to 20 countries right now, that's probably not going to happen. I had a goal to get at least five races done this season and coronavirus hit like two weeks after I had signed up to start doing the races. I know, so the auto So SECA, they didn't even open up until I think it was July and I didn't feel comfortable with going out and trying mm -hmm. to race just to make that goal. So, so yeah, like, go ahead and, and talk about going back and, and checking out seasons one through four. I got them all posted. They're on Facebook and we're also on YouTube. I'll make sure you have the links, but yeah, please go mm -hmm. back and check out um, Facebook and YouTube. See our videos, seasons one through four. We, we discuss a lot of things. Go ahead. The last season we just, I think the last thing that we did was about leaving a legacy. That's right. We and I think four. about the seasons, like starting a new legacy. There we go. Like new beginnings, right? New, there's just new different things. So you might not have the same goals, but kind of, you know, refashioning your goals or your new, mm. you might 
I got something. What? Yeah, season Wiggly. five. It's the season of the phoenix. Phoenix. The season of the phoenix. Like that mystical make, creature? Phoenix. Yes, I understand it's a mystical creature, but I'm saying it's appropriate illustration because a lot of us had goals, aspirations, things that we thought we were going to complete in the year 2020. And because of coronavirus, because of, you know, just injustices that finally hit a wall, like we're like, we're done. We're, we're never tired of it. We're going to step up. We're going to be hitting the streets protesting. We're going to the courthouse and praying and protesting, you know, things like that, you know, doing these nonviolent protests and, and making sure that our voices are being heard when we vote in November. With all that stuff happening, you know, Phoenix just seems appropriate because it's like the things that we thought we we're going to do just kind of burned up. Like for me, like some of those aspirations just burned up. So I'm thinking, all right, well, from the ashes rises the Phoenix. I have bigger dreams. I have better idea of where I'm going and it's helped me refocus, maybe get rid of some of the distractions and, and really refocus on, on what God's leading me to do. That, well, all just, that, all yeah, that. You said that because I was like rising from the, yeah, rising from the ashes, like the phoenix, like this is the season of the phoenix, baby. If you got some phoenix-like dreams. I think, I don't want people to give up on their dreams. Goals. It just might be delayed, right? There's more Absolutely. obstacles in the way or just new goals because you realize, hey, like this is what really matters. Like, you know, that's what I'm talking about but like I, I didn't give up on my family that right. was one of my goals is to be more active with my family to get more active with the kids and do more with the kids just look guess what coronavirus hit and I'm doing more with the kids yeah I'm more active with the kids so hello you, yeah. you know I didn't wish for a coronavirus and I don't want people sick and dying however looking trying to find positivity in a very in this pandemic one of the things I can take away from it is I was trying to find ways to make sure that I I scaled back and left time for family. I now have more time with family. So it's hard. It can be challenging at times. I get frustrated and have to take a, a breather, a break, go for a drive or just listen to some meditation here in the room. However, I absolutely love the fact that I am doing more with the kids. I feel like I'm being more um, active uh, father. Some people see the glass as half Full. Some see it as half empty and others see it as refillable. So hmm. I hope that we can kind of see this time and season as refilling and recharging us and figuring that out. And yes, we did also talk about bringing on some... Getting new gifts, some, I don't uh, know. Some, <laughs> bringing on some, uh, some co-hosts. I was going to say some celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> to us, they're celebrities, so maybe, they, yeah. yeah. No, but we are going to have some guests on, and uh, we really just we look forward to seeing your comments. Uh, send, again, you can private message us, mm -hmm. you know, PM us, and just let us know if there's things you want us to talk about, but maybe you don't want to share with everyone else. That's cool. We're all right with that. What we want to do is make sure that um, what we're doing is ministering to those that are willing to listen. So if you took some time to check out the video, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. We want to tell y'all we love you. God bless you. God keep you. Make his face shine upon you all the days of your life. Share, share this with anyone that you can think you can benefit from it. Share this with people you don't think will benefit from it. You never know. They might share it with someone they know. And then they'll share it with someone they know. And on the YouTube. And they'll share it with someone they know. Thumbs up. And they'll share it with someone they know. And they'll share it with someone they know. And then the world has changed, people. You know? I thought that's how it worked. We're going to change the world together, one show at a time. This is our ministry. It's what we do. And this is what we do now. But this you is one of the things that we do. from a preacher to a guru to Mufasa, all in one show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Remember, keep thriving. Keep thriving. Keep thriving. Bye. Hey, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. This is episode one, season five, Thriving Thursday. We're going to let the music take us out. 